Really? Right guys, welcome back to another video. The time is 5.21 and we are training hamstrings today. But, as you can see from the title of the video, we are training deadlifts. Like, I like to put my hamstrings days and deadlifts days together because I, I just feel it a more activation of my hamstrings more when I'm when I'm training when I'm training deadlifts I, I never like to train deadlifts with back because I feel too fatigued when I'm like training deadlifts and back together like after my deadlifts I'll just feel so tired from just doing the back workout so I'd prefer them to do it with like hamstrings if you know what I mean yeah I just want to talk to you guys about deadlifts to be honest um, as you can see in the title of the video alright I hit a 230 kg deadlift when I was 17 years old I haven't deadlifted in about two years or two years and a half now due to a back injury I um, damaged the cartilage in my back my spinal cord I think it was my lumbar or something like that but um, having said that it didn't allow me to train properly and I couldn't breathe properly and there were certain movements that I couldn't perform well whilst I was training and um, that played a massive like part of my bodybuilding like career in a way because I was injured for a while like that pain is it was unbearable so but having said that I didn't injure my back from deadlifts I injured my back from squatting there was one day where I squatted very heavy like let's say for instance I hit a really big deadlift on Monday right the next day I wouldn't recover so this is where my back is messed up but I like to train squats the next day but having said that I forgot my belt so I went really heavy on the squat, I probably did about 150kg with no belt, which was so stupid of me, but all that comes under like ego lifting and just trying to show off in front of people, which I shouldn't have done, but I know I was young, um, my body was just already developing like I still have fresh bones, fresh muscles, which shouldn't even be injured at my age. I shouldn't have these sort of problems at my age. But I wasn't taking care of myself. I suffered the consequences of that. So, going back to the story, I went very heavy on the squat. And I, I, as I was squatting down, I felt a lot of pressure on my lower back. I was arching my back too much. And it was just... It was just damaging the the spinal cord. It was just bending like it could have caused to a, like a slip disc in a way. I've learned through my mistakes. It's a lesson learned. I'm fully recovered now. I'm fully healed. Yeah. So I just want to get back into deadlifting and see if I can try and hit another two thirty kg. The half a week I started my deadlifts like for one rep. Um, I hit a two hundred kg for one rep but I felt like I could have hit more but I just wanted to take it slow to see where I'm at but it's a good thing that I'm starting this now and fresh because now I can start like a deadlift kind of series where I can show you guys my training style and um, how you can actually get stronger on your deadlifts so having said that um, yeah we're gonna start today with a strong deadlift we're gonna try and hit like pb or something but i'm not gonna go there to show off or ego lift or anything i'm just going there to see where i'm at and see what we can work with in the next few couple months or years however slow we want to take this but yeah so having said that let's get into the video i'll see you guys in the gym Right guys, 
we're here, we're at the gym. And before we go in, um, I'm gonna have to take some some pre-workout, you know. I'm gonna take two scoops of the curse. If I can balance this. Water. We got the water. We got the water. Uh, we got this. We got this curse right here. I currently take what flavor? Orange and mango. Uh, it's quite a new flavor, but I don't really like it. But we're just gonna take it anyway. Um, where's my scoop? Right. I've taken my pre-workout. I'm good to go. Let's hit some deads. As you can see, I just hit a 220 kg, um, a 220 um, deadlift. And I think I'm gonna go for a probably. I don't know. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt the 230 because that felt kind of good. It felt kind of um, light for me, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna try it because. It did feel kind of light to me, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take the 230, see how it goes. Um, it's just adding two fives in it, so each side. So we'll see. We'll see how we can do. If it feels even more light, I might even add a ten on each side and make it 240 and try and hit a PB. But we'll see how it goes. We're just gonna find these fives right now. So guys, my camera died on me yesterday, so I couldn't do my outro properly, but I just want to say subscribe if you're new, go like, comment, hit that bell so you don't miss a video, and peace.